It's a secretive process that only happens in California, where lawmakers go through hundreds of bills, which either move along or are killed. It's called the suspense file, and our political reporter, Morgan Reiner, has more on some of the bigger bills that actually made the cut. One of the big bills that passed the suspense hearing yesterday is Governor Gavin Newsom's Care Corps proposal, which essentially forces those exhibiting signs of mental illness into treatment and housing. Now, this committee, they also have the ability to just change bills without explanation, and that's what happened to another big one yesterday. It's a process that political analyst Steve Swat said started in the 1980s. Bills that will cost the state a certain amount of money are sent to the suspense file and evaluated behind closed doors. There is no public testimony, no recorded votes, and so no, no public debate. UC San Diego political science dean Thad Kowser said for a state that's mostly transparent. It's a way to let legislative leaders kill bills that, that might be popular but bring real political costs uh, or, or state fiscal costs. And so about there are about 800 bills that went to suspense this year. 200 of them, about a quarter of those bills uh, just last night died this, this quiet death. Let's start with some that made it through. Care Court. It forces the mentally ill into treatment and housing, and since it's Newsom's own idea and has made it this far in the process, Swamp believes it will become law, but not without opposition. First, it, it actually compels people into care, uh, and, and that's something advocates of people who are homeless uh, have objected to. But I think the biggest objections are coming from counties. They hadn't heard anything about this idea until about four months ago when, when the governor announced it, and they would be charged with actually implementing it, with, with providing all of that housing. Another controversial bill that passed would require businesses to disclose how much they pay their employees by race, gender, and ethnicity, but that line was taken out of the bill in the suspense hearing. So what does that bill even do now? I'm not sure what could be left of that bill. When I was a staffer in the legislature, I was working on a bill. Uh, it, there was an amendment, and it took maybe a week for us to learn exactly what happened to our bill and just how gutted it had been. Another big bill that passed protects out-of-state families coming to California to see gender-affirming care for their transgender children. One of the big bills that did not pass the committee is one that would have allowed prosecutors to sue social media companies for continuing to use addictive features that harm children. Now, the decision not to pass that bill from the committee comes just a week after lawmakers and top tech lobbyists met for a very pricey retreat over in Napa. Really interesting look at that whole process. Hundreds of bills. Mm -hmm. 800. Not so efficient there. Thanks, Morgan.